Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are gonna see choice field. Okay, so don't get confused between two fields, choice field and multiple choice field. Choice field basically allows you to create, you to choose only one field and multiple choice field will allow you to choose multiple fields. I mean multiple choices. Okay, so first let us understand this choice field and then in next video we will understand multiple choice field. Okay. Now, this is a little bit tricky thing to create. It's not that hard, but yeah, it's a tricky thing. Okay, so first, let us um, go to model stop by. Now, I will remove these two fields. We don't want that one. And here, I will say emp underscore zender equals to. But before that, let me create one dictionary I know not dictionary but tuple okay so here I will just create one tuple so here I will say choice equal to the list and inside that I will pass the tuple so I will say mail and here I need to write mail then we have female here I will say female and here the last one is other and uh, other okay save this one now here let's go and write models dot character field and here I'll say choice equals to choice Okay, C H O I C. It should be gender choice. Yeah, and this would be null equals to true and blank equals to true. So I'll just paste that one. Okay, done. Now here I'll say Python manage.py make migrations. Okay. Uh, choose okay we need to write max length okay I'll just copy this one and say max length equals to let's say 50 Done. now do make migrations and I'll say migrate done now I'll run the server so I'll say python manner.py run server server has been started now copy this variable come to form stop by now here I will remove this image field and URL field we know did that and here I will say oops I am doing something wrong why yeah choice field now here so I'll say form not form employee underscore gender equals to model not sorry forms dot choice field and yeah, I'll say widget equals to forms dot I am confused okay so I'll just say character field over here sorry character field and here I'll say a double TRS okay so here we need to write select not character field here select and attributes and here I'll say form control I'll say class form hyphen control save this now copy this variable go to views.py remove this two and remove this two and here I will say gender equals to form dot cleaned underscore data pass that variable which we copied and I will say copied variable equals to 
gender yeah done come to the website just refresh go to employee and here we have that fields okay so why don't we have field hmm. let me go to form supply now here i need to write choice field maybe yeah come over here refresh so we don't have anything over here hmm. okay let's do one thing i'll just remove this take this particular list okay come to form start by now here i need to paste that list over here and here i need to write choice equals to gender choice comma this should work but i need to do make migrations again and i'll just say migrate and i'll just run the server come over here refresh and yeah we got that option okay so if you are doing this through the django forms then always create the list here okay so i haven't actually planned this video so i made this mistake but you don't please okay so i got to learn one more thing and uh, actually i knew this method but i was trying something new okay so that th the method which we saw pre uh, before was not applicable so here you need to remove that choice field from here okay so don't add that one so yeah here let's go ahead and submit the form yes but uh, and just submit data has been saved let's go to the admin panel employee and we got the data and the gender is over here okay okay one more thing to add see we should not remove that uh, choice field from the models.py i'll just control z that one why because see whenever i go to add employee at that time i need to get this particular drop down okay but if i would remove this one then i will not get that drop down from the admin panel i'll only get that drop down on the front end okay refresh now you can see we got only this character field this is not a good practice so you need to add that particular drop down here also and while creating this form also this form website form yeah this one choose field okay so i hope you got idea so just refresh but we need to do make migrations and migrate and then run the server because if you don't do that and when you save the data it will not allow you to save okay so if i add new data from the admin panel from the admin panel then it should allow me to add the data yeah now it's working perfectly fine let me go to the website again and let me see whether we are having drop down or not yeah we are also having drop down okay just refresh yeah we are having that one so yeah this is it for today's video guys and i hope you understood this particular field so i will see you in next one thank you